Alright, we're on day 37 with the lead guitars and uh, it's been a fucking nightmare. The guys think that I'm uh, editing vocals nighttime, but uh, luckily I'm, you know, I play the guitar myself a little bit. So uh, basically been, yeah, redoing uh, the guitars. Andreas got his first guitar in a cereal box when he was 35, I think. Oh God, I, I can't do this, man. Try to find some new sounds and some new ways that Sepultura hasn't used before. That has been my vision. I think when it comes to Andrea's sound, even though we play around with some different effects and try different guitars, it's still always gonna be Andrea's sound. That feels good. Oh my god, oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, right there. Champagne and whammy bars. <laughs> down, up, right up and down, up and down. <laughs> was it good for you too? Yeah, it was pretty good. It feels everything's in the right place. And it feels great, man. Very excited. It's much better than I expected, <laughs> actually, you know, the stuff that we achieve. That has a lot to do with the input from Jens as well, to enhance and to embrace our ideas and really to make them better. I think it's a perfect combination. We're gonna have an amazing, monstrous sounding album. He has a temper. You can see guitars flying around here while doing takes. Filha da puta! Puta que pariu! Caralho, velho! Pariu, mano! Puta! Ah! Cut, cut. <laughs> the drums are really guitars. Filha de uma puta! One more time. Piece of shit! No, you didn't! Ah! 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 Ah!
moment like this you have to be as prepared as you can get. You have to spend a lot of time with your instrument you know, on a daily basis to keep the mechanics, the scales and your right hand, your tempo, your attack, your attitude. You have to keep that on a daily basis so when a time comes like this which is very demanding it's a big challenge to record an album. We were like 100% focused here that's why we came here to the studio in the middle of nowhere but we have all the time in the world to make the best things that we can get. day one the whole project was very excited to work with us uh, he told that his wife was pregnant and was around this time that the baby is supposed to be born and he also got injured in his foot but he never lost the focus you know he was always here and really bringing new ideas it's perfect it's working fantastically great final touches of uh, production with the guitars and solos is the reason why I do what I do. I love it. I think it's great, you know, to be able to get that last piece of information into the songs. You can be more creative with the sounds, the little expressions, whilst the earlier stages of the production is perhaps a bit more hard work. This is where the icing on the cake comes in. This is also the stage where the songs start to really come alive. I mean, up until this point, the songs have been sort of complete inside our heads. And now we could actually play it back to people and uh, they would be uh, blown away. All right, let's do it. You know what you just uh, showed when we listened to that? Your surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> Got some money? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.